so right here they just finished harvesting cassava here so these cows are here eating the leaves there is a, a spe particular species of cassava here we call it magana if cows eat anything of it either anything at all they die either goats or cows so this particular one is not it mm, so this one here should be the one which is edible <coughs> and here i don't know how you people plant cassava for us here this is how they do it they get the stems these same stems like this they chop chop it like this so they are going to later, later on they are going to pick it from here they take it to another garden you can see they did here even that side they dig a hole and they put it like this some people do like this some people put like this then it's from here here where, where they cover it with soil that's where the new that's how it will it will uh, grow that's how this place they plant cassava and here this is a sweet potato garden hmm? kula kula gana Hey, oh, yeah, this one is Simpson. So it's already even flowering by the they planted Simpson. And over here, by the I don't know how you people also plant uh, potatoes. This is sweet potatoes. Here they make, uh, they dig, uh, it's like a hill. Comment below if you, you know any other way in which they plant sweet potatoes. But here, this is how we do it. So we have very many different types you can look from the leaves this particular one is different from this but they are all sweet potatoes yeah they are all sweet over here this is mushrooms here i will not this is mushrooms so i think it is season for mushrooms when we were very young we used to look at we used to walk looking for it and we could do it so if if i'm able to get this then there should be more here this is also ma mushrooms but i don't know which type is this like i told you if i'm able to get this there should be more uh, this one is still small let me leave it there should be more mushrooms around here yeah, this is the season. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So this is Segonia. I'm going to show you. There is it's a very, very popular... Uh, I wonder what it, okay, it's a fruit. I'm going to show you. You will tell me how you call it in your language. We call it Segonia. <coughs> like I was telling you before. In homes, there is always where they plant greens. I think people haven't planted this must like you can see it is old and dry it must be for last season because there has been a lot of sunshine so when people are back from the garden you simply come and uproot like remove the leaves this one is called akaya it's too old you can see they get the leaves and maybe like this you prepare food this one is ntula uh, katunkuma is for appetite but this this one here is uh, is is already ripe though they don't eat it when it's like that they normally eat when it is still uh, like this and then just here maybe come in over here is still katukuma mm, this one is uh, Biringanya or oh, eggplant. Here, you just, when you want to eat, just come and pluck and go and eat. So, this is still garden. This is dodo. Dodo. I don't know how they call dodo. We have so many species of dodo. Then, this is gobe. Peace. Peace leaves. It's also so good for 
they cook it. And of course, this is pepper. Pepper, kamulali. Pepe. This is uh, pepper. Red pepper. Of course, this is still eggplant, though because of the sunshine, it's, uh, it affected it. Including here, this is still eggplant. You can see. Just because of the sunshine. So here again, this is still garden for greens. This is Sukumawiki. This is a keo. I don't know how they call a keo in English. Comment below if you know how they call this in English. We call it a keo. It's a very popular greens here. And this one is Sukumawiki. Sukumawiki. Oh. So right here, this is the nursery bed for for pot I mean in tomatoes tomatoes and that one those are all garden of that is all garden of for sweet potatoes and of course that is uh purple so normally when you come back from the garden you know it's very difficult to eat breakfast here because you wake up at around six you go to the garden so when you come back from the garden, it's very difficult to, to, to first of all go and, and light, I mean fire and, and eat breakfast. So normally you first come to Popo Tree, you get one, you start from there. If Popo is not there, you go to Mango Tree, you first begin from there. If Mango is not there, there is Jackfruit Tree, you pluck one. It's, so, it's, so, it's always fresh, like somebody, they, someone has to climb the tree and pick one. If the fennet, fennet is jackfruit, it's not there, you go to avocado. You first get one with salt and you eat. You gain some energy and then you now come and start plucking these greens. And then you prepare food. Me musala. musala. I thought that was weed. Weed, weed also people plant it along. I mean, near homes, it's a repellent for snakes. It doesn't allow snakes to come close to the house. So right here, this, this, this here. This thing here, this is a mm, is the one. This one here is this this grass. You remove it, many. Then you put it. You wash it well, and you put it in hot water. Then you boil it. Uh, when you are going to take black tea, some people even put it in uh, milk tea. It's very good. It gives it the aroma. I don't know whether it's also medicinal. You can comment below if you you know. So it it gives it a very very nice aroma. When you are, uh, when you cook it in tea. Hmm? Mm. Yeah, by the people here are farmers. Those ones are coffee. Almost everybody here has coffee. Actually, if I just look around here, I will see more of the mushrooms. This is a season for mushrooms. So like now, assuming we were just from the garden. What the make Actually, you could go, you could shake this fene. Here, most of the things are communally owned. It's not, it's not like this one is for so and so. It's just recently that those things are beginning, but normally they are communally owned. Like now here. 
so this one is not yet ready you keep checking until you get one but even if there is any which is ready you could just get a very nice smell so over here that I think those are children, they were playing with it. Over here we have, uh, uh, we call it mapera. It's also a fruit, I've forgotten its name in English. It's also a fruit. So generally, fruits here is very, very important. This one here also is... Uh, by the way, we are in the swamp. So things in the swamp, they are just for everybody. Once you are hungry, you just come and get one and eat. Those are cows grazing here. Because of uh, limited land, most of the cows, they are in, is, what they call it, zero grazing. They tie them. They tie them. With ropes, including the goats. So uh, I in the last video I was telling you about the type of uh, the the type of uh, yam which grows in the swamp. This is one. It grows only in uh, in wetlands. So this is another type of yam. It is, literally looks like the other one, but uh, there is a difference. You see that goat? They have tied it there. So it's just supposed to eat within that perimeter that it's being tied. So they have to be shaking it time, uh, like maybe three to four times a day. And of course, goats with the water, they need a lot of water. Mm. This is sorghum, it's still young. This one just uprooted the cassava. So it is this, this one here, that they will now cut, cut, and again uh, plant. Mm. So, so here people make this so you might find that that garden belongs to somebody else the other one someone else this one also someone else hmm? Hmm. 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 We did, we did, we did. Move from Baji. Baby, 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 so this one here is the nursery bed. You can see, and it is just recent. It is just beginning to to come out. So I think this nursery bed is going to be for this, that, that one, for that garden, and probably this one, and the other one. This one here, they just removed it from the bed, and they just planted. I think not even two days ago. It's also a big one. So, someone told me that from here you can get even around 400 kilos. And each kilo from the garden is 200, I mean 2,000 shillings. Yet from the shop it's around 5,000 a kilo. But here it's around 2,000. doing so well from here because there is much water what rice needs always is just water